methotrexate is not approved for the treatment of alopecia areata. It is an off-label therapeutic option. However, it is included in the treatment algorithm outlined by the European consensus of experts. The potential efficacy of methotrexate in alopecia areata was not recognized until 2006, when the French dermatologist Pascal Jolie reported that 50 to 69 percent of participants experienced complete hair regrowth after methotrexate treatment. This study sparked interest and discussion among experts, leading to several additional publications. A significant milestone was a 2019 meta-analysis confirming methotrexate's effectiveness with 35% of patients achieving full hair regrowth. While these results appeared promising, a new double-blind randomized clinical trial conducted in French hospitals revealed that only 2% of patients receiving methotrexate alone achieved significant hair regrowth compared to 20 to 31% of those receiving combination therapy. Given this wide variability in outcomes, I am looking ahead to future statistical insights. A study from Poland showed that low-dose methotrexate may induce telogen effluvium, which needs to be differentiated from a relapse of alopecia areata. Methotrexate treatment may be particularly considered for adult patients who for various reasons are not candidates for the typical first-line treatments. While methotrexate is approved for children for non-hair-related conditions, there is evidence suggesting that children with alopecia areata may also benefit from this treatment. Administration can be oral or subcutaneous, with dosages as in other dermatological conditions. As a rule in combination with folic acid, for safety reasons, it is crucial for patients to adhere a monitoring plan. Here is an example. Pregnancy should be carefully planned. In patients who respond to treatment, initial regrowth is observed after an average of three months of treatment.